Is it a cyclone, a hurricane or a typhoon? Or are they all just different names for the same giant storm? Let's clear the air literally. Welcome to the whirlwind of storms where one person's monsoon is another person's mayhem. In the storm surge of a video, we decode the different types of storms across the planet and what separates a category 1 from a category 5. Hi, I'm Abhir Lahiri and you're watching an explainer by the Indian Express. Before we jump the gun, let's first understand what is a storm. A storm is basically mother nature throwing a tantrum. It's violent weather involving wind, rain, thunder, snow or dust. Some storms are harmless, some cancel your flights and some wipe out cities. That's a basic description and before we dive in, let's split them into types. That is tropical versus extra tropical storms. These are two types of large scale storms. Tropical storms form over warm ocean waters near the equator. They form between 0 degree equator to 30 degree north and south hemisphere. They are typically small and their diameter ranges between 200 to 500 kilometers. But they are more destructive because of heavy wind speed and high pressure difference. Think hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons. Extra tropical storms or temperate storms form outside the tropics between 30 degree and 65 degrees and are usually driven by temperature differences. Their diameter is bigger than 500 kilometers, but the wind speed is comparatively less. Quick fact, tropical storms feed on warm water, extra tropical storms thrive on cold air clashes. Now you know about the categories of storms, let's understand how they are named. You may have heard names like Amphan, Fani, Biparjoy. It's not a Bollywood villain list. Storms are named by weather experts including the India Meteorological Department or IMD and a group of countries in our region. This includes India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal and few others. Each country submits a list of names in advance. Simple, easy to pronounce names in local languages. When a new storm forms in the Bay of Bengal or Arabian Sea, the next name on the list is picked. So that's how we got the names like Amphan, named by Thailand, it means sky. Fani, named by Bangladesh, means snake. Bipurjoy, named by Bangladesh, it means disaster. Nisarga, an Indian name meaning nature. The names go in a fixed order and rotate every few years. And if a storm causes massive damage like Amphan, it gets retired forever, out of respect. So no, you can't name a storm after your annoying boss or nosy neighbor. Only member countries get to submit names and they keep it official. Now you know quite a bit about storms, their categories and how are they named. So now let me decode the biggest confusion in your head. What's the difference between hurricane, cyclone and typhoon? Same beast, different names. In the Atlantic Ocean and Eastern Pacific, it's called a hurricane. In the Western Pacific, around Japan, the Philippines and China, it's a typhoon. Near India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka or Australia, it's known as a cyclone. They all spin, they all destroy. But a quick fact, cyclone rotate in different direction to hurricane and typhoon because they form in southern hemisphere. By the way, someone asked me today, is monsoon also a storm? Well, the answer to that is in the coming chapters. Just be with me. For now, let's classify these monsters based on their impact. Not all storms are created equal. That's why we classify them in five categories. Category 1. Winds from 119 to 153 km per hour. Minor damage. Your Wi-Fi may go, but your roof stays. Category 2. 154 to 177 km per hour. Strong winds. Some roof damage. Maybe. Category 3. 178 to 208 km per hour. Major damage. Trees, windows and egos all shattered. Category 4 209 to 251 km per hour. Severe devastation. And Category 5 252 km and above. Catastrophic. Keep in mind, the scale only measures wind speed. Garnished with rainfall and flooding, they can be even worse. And this brings me to the chapter where we will discuss about some other types of storms. There is more than one way to storm it up. Thunderstorms, short, intense, full of lightning and drama. 
often the opening act of tornadoes. Tornadoes, localized but deadly whirlwinds, snowstorms or blizzards, heavy snowfall mixed with strong winds, total whiteout, dusty storms, dry, dusty walls of winds. Think Mad Max in real life. And now India's favorite monsoons. Technically not storms, but powerful seasonal wind shifts. They bring torrential rain to places like India every year. By the way, with the rising global temperatures, storms are getting stronger and more frequent. Warmer ocean provides more fuel for cyclones. Rising sea levels means bigger storm surges and inland flooding. It's not just a weather update anymore. It's a climate reality check, my friend. So the next time the sky darkens and the wind howls, remember, it's not just rain. It's a whole category of chaos. On that note, that's everything on and about storms. Like, share, subscribe to the Indian Express to get more of such explainers and comment down below if you want me to decode everything else for you in a minimal and fun way. This is Abhi Lairi signing off. Ta-da!